what I'm going to show you as far as baits go today is targeting a multitude of fish species, namely your raggy, your honeycomb, your sandy, your diamond. This is a long casting um, trace as far as baits go, so it's a very aerodynamic bait. It's a big bait, it's mackerel. Um, like I say, it's for those bigger fish. What we're going to use is our soft dangle, bait needle, oh, bait needle, and of course our old trusty 10 circle hook. Okay, first of all, I need my cotton, there's a cotton, okay. To cut this bait, what we're going to do is halfway down the actual body, we're going to cut it. I just want to make sure of my size with my dangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it at an angle, starting at the top, working my way down. And like I say, it works better with a semi-frozen mackerel. Just measure the distance once again. That's about right. So I'm going to take that and then cut him over here. Okay, that I'm keeping. Very important part of the bait. Now what I'm going to do is cut from the tail end working my way up. So what we do here, we go in at the angle and we just basically start coming up. Okay, so it goes from thin, thick, thin. And we start working our way up again. Okay, so that I can put to one side. Take our bait, there's our micro piece there, just cut him down a bit. <clears throat> Lay it next to him, just like that. Bottom. Exactly the same on this side and you can see how the tapering of the bait basically tapers in as I'm doing it. This part we're just going to soften the bottom the belly part up. Changing hands quickly, guys. Okay. Now, what we do is we take our uh, bait needle where the hook goes through we're just going to stick it through that side open a bait needle up like so just measure where we want it to actually go from the back just down the back part here you can see where the blood is that's the spine that's where you want to run that bait needle and you can just Move it until you can feel, you can feel when it's going, running along it. So you can carry on going. Carry on going. And eventually, you'll find, he's right there by the mouth now, where we want him to be. There he goes. It goes through there like that. This part over here, we're going to push back down into the mouth itself. 
just under the gill, uh, under the chin part, is where I'm going to start sticking this circle lock. Do it again, through. In. And there he goes. That's basically what it looks like with the soft dangle and your sinker. You are going to clip on to that part there. And that's basically a big bait that you can throw far. It's aerodynamic on all sides of the actual bait. It's not going to come off. When it hits the water, that's going to come loose. And it's going to sit there. So your honeycombs, your sandies, your diamonds can eat it. If a raggy comes along, he just sucks that up as well. If you're targeting just the raggy, you need to add a lot more flotation to it. So it actually brings it up. And that you can pack on the sides before you put the cutlets on. Okay, so use that um, very soft high density foam, preferably the red one. And you put that, cut it nicely to shape, and then you can wrap the cutlets around it. So that just floats it up if you're fishing for the raggies. But because we're targeting multiple fish species here in the towel, we don't do that. We want it on the bottom so we can get the honeycomb, the sandy, the diamond, and of course the raggie.